Welcome back guys to another Boom Beach video. So today we were supposed to be using the Vampire Zuka. When I woke up this morning and looked at my notifications, it said a new Proto Troop was released in game. So I went to click on it and it was already gone. So the Vampire Zuka was a Halloween based Zuka Proto Troop that was somewhat different. I didn't actually get to try it out sadly. Um, I was supposed to be using it right now, but Chris Christian did a sneak peek a couple days ago, which I will link in the description. I did some research on it, and from what I understand, when they released the Proto Troop, it caused tons of in-game problems for a lot of players. Pretty sad. Uh, when I, I they kind of released some sort of apology gift uh, of diamonds over in the shop. So HQ24 gift said 50 diamonds. I'm not sure if that was different for every HQ level, but I'll take the 50 diamonds as an apology because from what I heard, uh, it wasn't that good of a troop. So I don't think we'll be missing out too much today. Still a little bit sad, but that's okay. So we got RZ. I'm cooked up. I used Cryneers in one of my videos a few days ago. Oh, players online. And I mentioned RZCM and I haven't used it in a while, but I really like using the strategy. So we're going to be doing a few attacks with that today. I did one test attack and it was a little bit more rough than I remember, but that's okay. We just got to get warmed up to it. So I'm holding on to a Boater Rifleman. Um, we're not gonna land it yet because the goal is to keep a constant stream of riflemen in front of my Zookas. The Zookas are the stars of this attack. Cryoneers and Medics are for support, trying to sustain the troops and then the riflemen. They do a little extra damage, but they're more so just to tank in front of the Zookas, you know, like run over mines. So usually, uh, back when uh, I first used this strategy, which was almost probably like two or three years ago, I don't remember to be honest, time just flies sometimes. I would always use Ice Shield with it, but over time, we kind of realized how um, how good Second Wind is. So we're using Dr. Kavan Second Wind, revive some troops, and there we go. Already taken out that first base, no problem. Wasn't an ice base, and that's gonna be a trend today, just dominating bases. I expect if we run into anything too difficult, I will sadly retract my words, but I'm feeling nothing but dubs today. Uh, ever since I got that first messy attack out before recording, uh, I, I think we'll be fine. Especially if we keep going against Doom Cannons. What, they target like three riflemen every shot? Ooh, such a big deal. But one thing I do want to take care of, we're gonna, for this attack, we're gonna get rid of the shock mines and the regular mines. Because that, that cannot destroy this strategy like uh, nothing else. Because if all the riflemen were to run over the mines, then uh, that, that's, that's not good news. We're going to hold on to a rifleman, two boats for a second here. I see the stream starting uh, to run out there. So we'll get that second boat down. And we'll just get the third one down so we don't forget about it in our um, landing craft inventory there. Throwing some shocks out. Just got to make sure we take care of the shock launchers too because if the shock launcher hits all of our riflemen, that's not good. Our Zookas could step in front, get murked by a couple of those rocket launchers, and uh, this attack seems to be going smooth. So that hot pot, I'll have to worry about that in a few seconds. But for now, let's just pop a second wind. We should get some riflemen back. A couple Zookas too that got taken out, but just tons of riflemen. That's... That's the key to this strategy. As long as you got a few Zookas left, usually you are good for the attack. But our troops are actually thinning out right now, so I'm getting a little bit nervous. Will that hot pot hit any of my troops? Looks like it hit a rifleman, but it was a purple revived rifleman, so I am not too worried about it. Pop another second wind, and we'll just throw a flare onto the HQ and take it out also throw some critters since we don't expose too many of our zookas so that attack was a lot more rough than the first one there was some ice statues so increasing uh the difficulty a little bit but it was also only a level 66 so uh let's be careful now we got to make sure it's only dubs today because i was I was a little bit cocky at the start there after <laughs> that first easy base hmm do I want to attack this base? 
doesn't have that much loot. I'm trying to get an upgrade. I boosted up my research reward statues and all that. Might as well just take it out. We'll find we'll find uh, monster loot bases later in the, this video. Might as well take out the free bases while we can, right? Um, that was a great barrage. We took out a lot of mines, and I'm just gonna throw down all my riflemen. We don't have to worry about space them out for the. Actually, that might have been a mistake. Uh, those rocket launchers kind of hurt the landing there but let's throw a couple shock bombs out and this this battle um second or er, ice shield instead of second wind might have been more beneficial since the ice shield soaks up so much like immediate burst damage um that actually maybe uh maybe ice shield would be a little bit better with this strategy but i just like reviving troops so don't judge me and also like I don't know. Revive also might be better. I, it, it's it's kind of a toss up for me, but that's okay. We're using revive today. Usually I use ice shield. Got to test it out, right? Um, once we get that flare into the HQ, so a trend. We're just gonna lose the majority of our riflemen each attack, and usually a handful of zookas too. And I guess a cry in here, maybe a medic. Um, but if we got a handful of zookas left at the end, this strategy is a okay. Taken out pink, but instead of an I, there's a J in there. Um, moving on to the next base. Now let's try and find someone with a bit more loot. We can we can afford to be picky now. And this person is still online. Interesting. Let's move around the map, see what this level 57 has to offer. A heart layout. Is that five 521? Interesting. Um, okay. I guess we'll just uh, attack this level 57 here, try and bully him a bit, but that's like a mine trap, so we're just going to throw two boxes of critters. Should take out all of them, or at least the majority of them. Uh, let's throw out some artillery too. We just want to make sure our troops have a nice, safe landing, because we're a nice commander, and also we don't want to fail against a level 57. That would be pretty embarrassing, um, especially with a heart design. Uh, that would just be... The icing on top. Well, let's get a med kit down. There's a lot of splash damage. Um, so we're going to lose a handful of riflemen. Level 57 does not mean it will not be challenging. Although most of the time that is exactly what it means. You can almost get by with attacking with like all crying ears. Or even all medics and private bullet or something. Actually, that probably would work. Because there's no doom cannons or anything on this base. And I guess the boom cannons are sort of high level, but I think I'd be able to. No, no, there won't be. Time would not allow for that. What am I thinking? If I did, if I flared private bullet, maybe smoky private bullet. Actually, now that I think about it, might work. Just gotta think a little outside the box. And we destroyed pirate in. Uh, the amount of riflemen we lost probably will give them a few diamonds. That is okay. Uh, trade-offs am i right we'll take all your loot and let's move on let's try and find more loot come on block party we'll destroy that um get those free npc bases like they're nothing and now i said only doves today and i'm a little bit intimidated by that base so we're gonna move on no shame no shame and I am also intimidated by how little loot that is. Definitely not the boosted ice statues. And there we go. We should be able to do this one. Let's attack this one. Okay. So the laser beam I will have to keep an eye out for. And also this guy has good mind placement considering the strategy. So I am actually going to spread out my troops now. Let's get them spread. Kind of a symmetrical base. Um... Or everything's just in rows, so if we go for all the rows, uh, we'll get more energy return. Is that how it works? I think so. Um, but we also might be sacrificing a lot more riflemen. So we gotta keep enough energy, make sure we can pop the revives this battle, and let's clean up some of the shock mines so we don't get caught with our pants down in the middle of this attack. Let's throw a double barrage in the back, take out the rocket launcher and the shock launcher. Good job, barrages. And we'll also throw a double artillery. Now we can just spam that second wing, get a ton of troops back. Look at all of that down there. Um, it looks like they were spawning a lot more than they actually did, but that's okay. We're going to be able to, to defeat this guy. And now we will hop into one more attack after that. So that was a pretty easy base. 
Uh, if he had ice statues, could have went a different route. But I'd say that was a pretty good base. Not really favoring the defensive side there, but I'll take your loot. Thank you, my friend. We might be able to get a small upgrade by the end of this. Now, let's uh, let's see. Is this guy offline? Yeah, he's still online. Come on. I really want that base. Um, there's a low-level resource base there. I'm definitely not avoiding these, if that's what you're wondering. Actually, nah, we're, we're not going to avoid these. Let's, let's attack this one. Damage Amplifier, Sky Shield... I think we should be able to do it. I mean, I can always thread the the shock bombs underneath if I need to, which I probably most definitely will, so that'll be a plan. Interesting box of critters. Now, mines, I'm, I'm gonna, oh my gosh, that artillery was terrible. I was aiming for that boom mine and the regular mine. How'd I miss that? That's like Boom Beach 101. Come on, Jimmy. Great start, great start. So we're going to place a rifleman down, get the rest of our troops down. Hopefully avoiding that shock mine if a rifleman or two hits it. No big deal, but... Okay. Yep. These, uh... Oh, I threw it straight into the sky shield, too. That is a waste of energy. That second shock bomb did a great job threading the needle underneath the sky shield. But my, oh my, we have now wasted seven energy. That is sad. And we have to get another one underneath. Yes, there we go. I thought that one was going to flop too. We are A-OK. -okay. And I was able to boost up my medic healing in the tribe. Only up to 30%. My raw crystals, I think I'm at zero right now. So hopefully our 30% extra medic healing will help out tremendously. I think we're going to be able to do this. Ooh, our front line is dwindling. But we don't have that many more defenses to get through. But also, oh no. This might be going poorly now. Um, let's get a barrage artillery onto the, sh the rock launcher. And now I think we will be able to do it. We should be in the clear now. But that was getting close for a second. Dr. Kavan did die. I appreciate your service, my friend. You did a great job this attack. Got a few revives in there. And we're going to be able to defeat this guy. I was intimidated with him at first. But, um, you know, RZCM, it's better than I remember, so I'll take it. Although, some of these attacks were really close, but that's going to be it today. And he actually had boosted ice. Did I not see that first time? Well, it was only one boosted ice statue because uh, the building health was pretty low. Um, I did realize that. But looks like we're going to be able to get, let's just upgrade a residence because I need more gold. So we'll collect it. We will start the upgrade. And now both of my builders are busy builders. Look at that. 24 hours left and 22 hours, 22 minutes. So I, when I log on tomorrow at this time, should have both free. And hopefully we can get some more upgrades. I'm so close to getting level 70. But I'm also so slow on getting things upgraded since I just upgrade the, upgrade the small upgrades. Um, I got a lot of work to do with my defenses. I guess... Uh, that cannon is max but there's a lot of buildings i need to upgrade but thank you guys for watching sadly i didn't get any vampire zooka gameplay again check out christian sneak peek if you didn't get to see that it shows what we're missing out on but that's okay we'll see you guys tomorrow Bye bye